It is popular amongst flat earthers to simply deny that gravity exists and say, density explains it perfectly. But does it? Let's find out. First, why do flat earthers deny gravity in the first place? Is it just because they are anti-science? Is it because they know gravity is not compatible with the flat earth? Or is it simply because not believing in gravity is just something that all the other flat earthers do, so therefore you're supposed to as well? Second, why is gravity completely denied, while the force or process that keeps the flat earth sun and moon from falling to the earth is simply accepted as fact with no explanation given? In fact, the question itself is not even asked. Isn't this a double standard? So, density supposedly does the whole thing on its own, but does it really make sense? Let's see. The explanation basically goes like this. Objects fall to the ground because they are more dense than the surrounding medium, the atmosphere in this case. Some flat earthers say something along the lines of, quote, the air cannot support something denser than itself, and so the object falls." Unquote. This not only does not explain why objects fall down as opposed to some other direction, it doesn't even make sense within the claim itself, because the less dense air is above the object, not below it. Therefore, objects should, according to this idea, naturally fall up, not down. Why are the objects compelled to fall through the more dense air below it, rather than the less dense air above it? An external force pulling the object towards the Earth explains this and everything that goes with it quite nicely. When a high-altitude jumper jumps, he continues to accelerate as he falls, even though he is moving through more and more dense atmosphere. Why would this happen if there was not an external force pulling him towards the Earth? This is perfectly explained by gravity, however. Why do lighter-than-air objects rise at different rates depending on their density in comparison to the air, but heavier-than-air objects all fall at the same rate, even if they are inside Earth-based vacuum chambers? It would seem that the density of the air has no effect on the rate that the object falls, so how can density even be a factor? And to close, I would simply point out that gravity can easily be observed with your own eyes through a telescope when viewing the moons of Saturn or Jupiter as they orbit their parents. Notice that the moons orbit with regularity without flying away. Notice also that Saturn and Jupiter's atmospheres rotate with them as they spin, which is something that flat earthers say cannot happen with the globe Earth. The only rebuttal to this so far from flat earthers is the lame, planets don't exist. But if they didn't, those spherical objects can be seen through a telescope with other smaller spherical objects orbiting them without flying away. So what is making that happen? Ha 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 